Always remember that when you feed your dairy or beef cattle, you are feeding microbes in their rumen. So whether you like it or not, microbes are inevitable. They are the workers, they are the converters of nutrients to use. Be deliberate if you choose to. It is microbes that break down feeds for ruminants to utilize. One drop of the rumen liquid has between 16 billion and 40 billion microbes per single drop. A cow with a population of 16 billion microbes per, per every drop of her rumen content is a poor feed converter, is a poor converter of the resources you employ on your farm, is a fuel guzzler that takes you very short kilometers on a liter of fuel. Most of what she feeds on would pass out of her digestive a digestive system through cow dung, unutilized. That heap from that animal is the heap of the money you spend. And farmers should know that out of every, every 100 Kenya shillings that you spend on dairy meal or maize jam or wheat bran, uh, if you don't pre-digest it or ferment it before you feed, a cow would only use between 25 to 40 percent of every 100 shillings. The rest passes through the system and utilized into the cow dung. And if you want to know that, take that cow dung into the lab and analyze it for protein, analyze it for energy, analyze it for minerals, analyze it for trace elements. A lot of them will be that cow dung. But if you turn it into, if you ensign it, in for, if you ensign it and then feed after you have assisted the animal to break it down, you will see increase in milk, increase in growth, increase in fertility, and reduced cow dung as a result of enough or sufficient nutrient extraction. A farmer owning such throws a good percentage of her money through the cow's cow dung. One with an average of 40 billion microbes in every drop of her rumen content is an effective feed utilizer. She therefore becomes a good money photocopying machine for the owner. Microbes are so crucial for ruminants that a good cow well fed produces between 2.5 to 4 kg of pure microbial protein every day for herself. <laughs> microbes work in a very unique way. If you take uh, a cow pro after the microbes have degraded feeds, after they have broken down the lusani you gave, the, the, the dairy meal you put in the cow, the hay that you put in the cow, when now they have done a good job, they expire and now offer themselves to the same cow as pure microbial protein that increases production. Further, allow me to mention here, for example, if you take a dairy meal like the one for Pembe that has 14% crude protein, and you take a pro, you take a, some amount of molar plus livestock microbes and ferment your dairy meal or your maize jam or your wheat bran. Within 24 hours, dairy meal that was 14% crude protein will will turn to 17.5% crude protein. Where has the additional protein come from? It has come from the microbes that you, you, you inoculated in the dairy meal 24 hours ago, multiplied inside there, degraded the dairy meal, and then those that have expired turn inside there and increase the protein content. And that in Kenya, you achieve it at only 10 shillings extra per every five kilos of your dairy meal. 
Microbes work extremely hard for cows before they expire. And then they offer themselves to the same as super feet. 